I am accomplishing something that was so high up on my bucket list. I am so excited. Baby, Emma couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things I said. I'm sleep deprived almost every night. And I woke up in such a fall mood, and I think it's because right when I cracked open my eyes, instead of watching a YouTube video, I put on Gilmore Girls, which we all know is the number one way to get yourself in the fall mood. And I ate some pumpkin bread for breakfast. Amanda's mom makes the best pumpkin bread, so I had some of that. And now I'm listening to Noah Khan's newest album called Stick Season, which is the definition of fall. Like, if you guys are looking for new music to get you in the fall mood, or even the winter mood, not, not like Christmas, but just like cold weather, I think that this is the perfect album. I feel very passionately about this. Honestly, I haven't stopped talking about it for the past like week. I will be listening to this for the rest of the day, and I'm actually gonna be heading out in a little bit. I have lots of work to do, and I wanna get all of it done outside of my two by four bedroom. So I put on a little bit of an outfit, I'll show you. I haven't worn my Aritzia Molina pants in so long. Like the leather ones, quite honestly, because I don't think that they're that flattering, but I have them, so I might as well wear them. My shirt is from Bershka, my jacket is also from Aritzia, and then I'm just wearing some sneakers, and I have a tote bag. And that's the look. Also on the agenda today is shipping out this box. It's crazy how just one new addition to this bedroom can make it feel even smaller than it already is. So that needs to get shipped out. I'm probably gonna do that this afternoon after I get a substantial amount of work done, but I'm gonna head off to a coffee shop. I really wanna go to this place called Cobra Coffee. It's in meatpacking and it's part flower shop, part coffee shop, and I think they even sell wine at night, but it always gets super crowded. So if I can't get in there, then I might go to Starbucks Reserve. Basically anywhere where I can get a seat and not have to worry about people looking over my shoulder because I, I do that to people, <laughs> honestly. I think we're all guilty of it and I just don't want it to be done to me today. So I have my laptop, my headphones, my hard drives, everything I need, my wallet, and we are ready to go. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind I've been bobbing around from coffee shop to coffee shop for the past few hours. Now I'm actually walking down to Bridget's office. She works not too far from where I was working and I'm picking up her prom dress. So in my last video, I showed you guys a dress that I wanted to wear to a wedding and evidently it was Evidently, it was way too casual, so I'm going to get something a little bit nicer, <laughs> a lot of bit nicer. Her prom dress is absolutely beautiful, and she's letting me borrow it, and now we just have to hope that it works and that it fits. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll fit, but I don't know. Just slight change of plans. and I'm back at my apartment. I got so much done today. I'm feeling really, really good about everything that I accomplished. And like I told you, I went and picked up Bridget's prom dress. It is absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna try that on right now and we're all just gonna cross our fingers and hope that it works. And listen, even if it doesn't, we're gonna have to find a way to make it work because the wedding is on Saturday. And right after I try that on, I'm going to do another quick change and then I'm running out for a pod outing. I'm meeting my team from work for a really, really fun event that like is very different from anything I've ever done. We are going to Batsu. And I will read you a definition of what Batsu is right now. Batsu is a gesture in Japanese culture and the Batsu game is a penalty game in a Japanese stage show. So how it's being described to us is a Japanese game show. I have no idea what to expect, but I am really excited. So before that show at 7.30, we're going to happy hour at a bar that's not too far away from my apartment. So I'm gonna change into a different outfit for that and then head on over. It's gonna be really fun.
bad. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna claw you and hiss at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicking in. What was that guy's little ball gag that goes inside? <laughs> The lighting here is great. I should put more videos here. Hi everyone. Good morning. Last night was so much fun. So much fun. Like I will now be convincing every single friend that I have, and you guys included, to go to Batsu because it was just such an amazing time, so much alcohol. I ended up going on stage, which was not expected, but really, really fun. Just all in all the best pod outing that I think we could have done. But now we are having a slow start to the morning, obviously, and Madeline and I came to the Elk. She got a matcha. Yeah, show them my avocado toast. And she got an avocado toast. <laughs> Wait, but don't ruin it. No, I would never. Yeah. You, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and that's our morning. Today is such an exciting day. I didn't realize it until like today, honestly, that I am accomplishing something that was so high up on my bucket list today. Like this is something I've been wanting to do for years and the fact that it's actually happening, I'm just so excited. But today I'm seeing Chelsea Cutler live in concert. Chelsea Cutler has been one of my all-time favorite artists for so many years now. It's her, it's Quinn92, Jeremy Zucker, that whole like, little mutual friends group. I'm obsessed with them. And I saw Quinn live in concert at GovBall earlier in the summer, but Chelsea came out for like a few songs and after that I knew that I had to see her live because it just made me so happy. And today I'm doing exactly that. I've been listening to her music for years and I feel like I've never really had a friend that listens to her music and appreciates it to the level that I do. Like her music is easy listening, so I'm sure people enjoy it, but like to want to go to her concert is a different thing and two of my closest friends from work Mackenzie and Skye love her so much so we were talking once we saw that she was coming to New York in concert and we knew that we had to buy tickets so we're making a whole thing out of it we're gonna go to dinner and we're gonna get a drink to celebrate we're definitely gonna go for the opener because we also love AOK -okay, who is opening up for her and it's it's just gonna be so much fun. I am so excited. It's 425 now. We have dinner reservations at 6.30 and we're gonna get to the concert venue at like 8, I believe, or 8.30. So I'm gonna start getting ready. I am not really thinking much about how I look or my outfit for this concert because pictures are my last priority. My top priority is just seeing and like getting a good spot and listening to the music and taking videos. So honestly, we don't have to think too hard, but I do want to feel good. Chelsea also posted this on her Instagram story about 40 minutes ago saying that there's a massive surprise for tonight's show. I've been trying to figure out what the massive surprise could be. If it's that Quinn92 is coming out on stage with her, I will actually start bawling my eyes out. And the same goes for Jeremy Zucker or anyone in that group. Like if any of them come out as a surprise guest, I will scream. I'm also fully prepared to not have a voice after this concert, but that was to be expected. Hands down, best part about going to a concert is buying the merch and wearing it to bed that night. This concert was everything I was hoping that it would be, and more honestly, she's such an amazing performer. She brought out Quinn, and it was just perfect. It was perfect. I'm feeling so grateful and just so happy. Good morning, everybody. Happy 
I don't even know what day of the week it is, to be honest, but happy week, happy day. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm making myself some breakfast. I had the craving for like a breakfast taco this morning. And realistically, I have like half of the ingredients I would need to make a really good breakfast taco. So this is gonna be half-assed, but it's gonna get the job done. I'm curious if any of you guys are like this also, but I've always been kind of weird with eggs. They're one of those foods that I can eat pretty much any morning and enjoy it. But if I have one bad bite, I'm clocked out and I cannot look at them or eat them for like two months. Honestly, I'm like that with Chipotle also, which is kind of random. It's just, I don't know why I'll like get in my head. It Sometimes it even happens like mid meal. I'll be eating and enjoying my meal. And if I have one weird bite of eggs, I'm out and like, I cannot eat it. It's so weird. It doesn't look like much, but this is gonna taste good. I hope that today isn't the day that I get freaked out by eggs, but I don't think it will because I literally just got over that hump. So I'm not due for another I hate eggs phase for like another six months. So we have some time. Also, this is your sign to get the Divinity Jumpsuit from Aritzia. Obviously not sponsored, but how much of a dream would that be? I got this the other day because I saw it going viral on TikTok, and the second that happens, it'll be out of stock in two seconds. So, figured I would jump on it. It feels very nostalgic because this is pretty much identical to the things that I would wear when I would go to all my dance classes when I was younger. It makes me feel... Yeah, I guess nostalgic is the word. So I love it for that and it's just so comfortable. They have it in a shorts version. So it's essentially like biker shorts and it stops right here. But I feel like I already have that because I have black biker shorts. So this is just amazing and I feel like everybody needs it. So go buy it before it sells out. Okay, we are heading out to go get some work done. I am yet again gonna try and go to that coffee shop that's in meatpacking because it's so cute inside. It's just, I think I've realized that if I wanna get a seat there, I need to get there at like 8.30 in the morning, which is just simply not gonna happen. So if I don't get in there, then I might walk over to Starbucks Reserve. There's plenty of options. We just gotta find a seat. It is gonna be a busy day. Let's go. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking. These are without a doubt my favorite types of fall days because it looks like fall. Like all the trees are bright orange. It's absolutely stunning. Like the picture perfect fall day in New York that you see in the movies, but it feels like summer. So I don't have to bundle up. I can wear exactly what I'm wearing right now and be totally comfortable. Many hours later and we are home. I had a very, very productive day of just bouncing around from different coffee shops. That seems to be my new favorite during the week routine just because it allows me to try different places. I finally got a seat at that place Cobra Coffee that I've been talking about and it was just as nice as an environment as I thought it was gonna be. The inside is just so cute and the coffee's really good. So all in all, 10 out of 10 experience and I'll definitely be going back there. But afterwards I had a few errands that I had to run, one of which is kind of fun and it pertains to Halloween. So Halloween is coming up and I have truly never been less prepared in my life, which is a big statement because I'm rarely very prepared for Halloween. It's one of those things that I take care of at the last minute. And honestly, this year, I think it was at such an extreme because I just don't really care. And I'm not a Halloween hater by any means. Also, I got Malamars, but that's just for me, not for a costume. Um, I've never been super into Halloween, but I'm not a Halloween hater by any means. I think it's a lot of fun. It's just not a holiday that I like spending a whole bunch of money on because at the end of the day, it just ends up resulting in clutter in my room, which clearly I don't have space for. But this year, I decided that I wanted to be a flapper. I think I'm just gonna wear the same costume every day because in my head, it looks cute. So I got some accessories because I already have the dress that I'm gonna wear. I got a boa, kind of feel like I'm going to a Harry Styles concert, but I'm not. And then I got some fake pearls. So I feel like between these two and the dress that I have that has some what are they? Not, what? Are they? Fringe, yes. It has some fringe on it. I feel like that'll be a pretty good costume and then I'll end up wearing it with either black boots, or black heels, depending on my mood. This is going to get absolutely everywhere. That's gonna be a disaster. But honestly, I feel like it'll be a pretty cute costume. I was also shocked when I was in Party City and I saw how much of a selection they had. I feel like by this time, everything is completely picked through, but they had a lot of costumes. So I was kind of impressed. Maybe not everybody waited to the last minute this year like I did, but I don't know. I was kind of impressed. <laughs> We 
are going to a brand event tonight. And if you guys watched my most recent update video, you know why that's still so exciting for me to say. And this one is extra exciting because a few months ago at this point, I went to Firefly Music Festival with the Jose Cuervo team and the PR team associated with putting on those events. And it's actually the same PR team that invited me to this event tonight. So I will be seeing some familiar faces and I was able to bring a plus one and it's gonna be so much fun. I'm going to an evening brunch today at Great Jones Distillery and they're actually opening up a separate bistro inside of Great Jones Distillery called The Grid and they're basically just going to be giving us some taste of the menu, a lot of brunch food, and a lot of whiskey based cocktails. So honestly I don't really drink whiskey all that much but I know that there are some whiskey drinks that I really enjoy so I'm excited. I just wrapped up my makeup and tried on my outfit and I love it. It's definitely a little different for me and I think that's why I like it so much because normally especially for events like this I play it safe because I want to like how I look so I keep basically the same uniform, but this is a little different and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna get changed really fast and then I'll show you guys the details. Here's the look. I'm absolutely obsessed. My dress is from Princess Polly. The vest was thrifted when we were in Europe. This was Amanda's best thrift find. I'm pretty sure she found this when we were in Paris. And I'm so happy she's letting me borrow it because I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm wearing the shoes that I always wear from Steve Madden. Steve Madden, please sponsor me. I literally talk about your shoes all the time. <laughs> my plus one to tonight's event is my friend Lindsay. I feel like she's gonna be just so much fun to take to an event like this because she is the chattiest person and she is like really easy to just throw into random social situations situations and you know that she's gonna be fine and be able to hold her own and we always just have so much fun so she's been waiting very patiently for me to be able to take her to a brand event and this is her moment and I'm just so excited I've heard really really good things about this place so it'll be nice to get like the full experience if you will okay 626 I should call my Uber never want to be late there's a few things that I always like to make sure that I'm on top of when it comes to events like this one I want to have my social battery completely charged because I'm gonna be talking to a lot of people and I want to be putting my best foot forward and on top of that I like to be punctual so that's why I'd even rather get there early than late even though that's like kind of stressful in itself because I'll be showing up and I don't really know anybody except for Lindsay. Actually, I guess that's a lie. I know the PR team, but as for other influencers at this event, I don't really know who's gonna be there. So just opportunity to make more friends. Lindsay's first influencer event, we have to do a little unboxing of what was in first our package. First so many. Okay, so first and foremost, we took all of the leftovers. They were so nice there, and they let us take a little leftover box. So I got some Pop-Tarts and some cinnamon bread. It's just so good. After that, we got a fucking fat bottle of whiskey. <laughs> and we got a pen. Also, this postcard. I'm putting very cute. Fridge. Wait, that would actually look really cute on a bar cart also. Oh my god, yeah. Next to the whiskey. We also got a pen. It looks fancy. Yeah, I also have been needing a pen, so. It makes me feel rich. Ooh, it's engraved. Yeah, I kind of like it. And then we have a gift card, so we can come back, and we're gonna come back with our entire friend group from work, and it's gonna be so much fun. So we don't know how much the gift card is. It, <laughs> it might be for $25, it might be for the entire menu. But if we put our earnings together, I feel like that will work. I feel like I earned a lot. So much fun. Honestly, the food at this place was absolutely amazing. Was if you're insane. in New York, definitely recommend that you go, at least for brunch. I heard that their dinner is really, really good, but we just ate all of the brunch food. 10 out of 10. Grilled cheese, so good. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is 